Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 21st, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Our sun has been pretty quiet throughout the day today. No new solar flares to report. But now we have 10 sunspot regions that are Earth-facing, one quickly formed in the northern hemisphere of our sun. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is showing two days of imagery. Sunspot region showing its ferocity and as well plasma filament there, looping over into another sunspot region. Looking at outgoing here. Spastic sunspot region. Those That is the sunspot region that produced the multiple M-class solar flares. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. No major solar flares to report, but watch on the left-hand side there, that large plasma tornado spinning from the surface of the sun and then looping and Jumping right into another sunspot region. Amazing images here. Coronal holes turning away and another one building in the earth-facing position. Here's that solar filament I was telling you about spinning around very fast. And then watch it jump into another sunspot region. Amazing images. Grateful to have you aboard. Grateful to be able to witness. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed here with daily events worldwide. Active 10 sunspot regions, 3864, one of the fastest forming sunspots I've seen in the last little while. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion. There's that fast forming in the north part. And then watching cresting into the view, another sunspot region. So current space weather conditions are none to report of. We are going through a quiet. Solar winds are coming in at 322 kilometers per second, but the solar X-ray flux is steadily rising into a strong sea range and has been for the last few hours. So expecting some activity from the 11 sunspot regions, one of them for sure. Geomagnetic activity, KP2, Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, showing their space weather spiral. Next event is expected 23rd into the 24th of October, but nothing major, minor geomagnetic instability. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing impact times there of our next wave of events. Little yellow circle is Earth. And then looking at LASCO 2 and 3, all of a sudden, time stops at the 20, what, 21 hour mark of the 20th. There is no imagery available, so stay tuned as they're trying to thread it all together and I will present it for you all. Having a look at tonight's Aurora view line and into tomorrow. Now let's have a look at earthquakes here as we've seen sizable earthquake at Labuha. 5.8 earthquake Indonesia, multiple aftershocks through the region, largest being a 5.7. Also throughout the region, which wasn't reported on USGS, there was an earthquake here reported 4.1 William Creek, Australia. And here's this most recent swarm, Indonesia. South of the active and erupting volcanoes, Ibu, to Kono, Karangatang. There's about 30 active volcanoes right in that region, folks. Carrying on here with earthquakes, Salo, Vanuatu 5.0, and our deepest earthquake today, 550 kilometer depth, 4.7 Lavuka, Fiji. And we've seen these deep earthquakes piling up all week. Notable earthquake here as well, 5.7 Abradan, Argentina. 100 kilometer depth, Caribbean plate, very quiet, eerily quiet, North American plate, notable earthquakes here, San Clements, that is off the coast of Los Angeles. 
Activity through the Aleutian Islands 5.0 reported here at two station. As well, notable Eastern Russia and Japan, Hancha with a 4.6. And Eastern Russia, Novi, Oyan, Russia with a 4.4. And that's the last 24 hours for shakers and movers around the world. Let's have a look at the last seven days. Thank you so much for pressing play tonight. I hope you're enjoying these updates. A lot of information packed into these videos. And I'm grateful to have you all aboard. A lot of deep earthquakes this week. It is a little bit concerning. Not enough pressure being released across the East Pacific right now. Stay tuned. We could see something big here right across the Pacific. And I've been expecting it and warning all week long. It's way too quiet. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by our 67 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Big plumes out of Mexico and as well eastern Russia, Kamchatka and the Aleutian Islands of Alaska. Notable in Colombia as well. Overlooking Africa and South America and Europe. Big plume moving through central regions of uh, Democratic of Congo. And as well, big plume coming out of Etna through Italy. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Australia and the Indian Ocean. There are no new major plumes or eruptions to be noted here today. But I did do a full count today, and we have an active and erupting 67 volcanoes across the planet. I've never reported that many, folks. Please share this video with your friends. Let's have a look at world weather here. We do have a strong system barreling into northern Indonesia and the Philippines. Most likely Category 2 by the time it makes landfall in the Philippines. Strong system here scooting southward towards New Zealand. And the long-range forecast shows this typhoon now going straight towards Thailand and parts of South China. Forecast model pretty much changed overnight. Overlooking North America, Central America, Oscar scooting away eastward into the North Atlantic. Watch for two systems here to barrel into BC this week like they haven't seen enough rain with the atmospheric river of moisture. I'm sure that is just the beginning of these new weather patterns. Long-range forecast, big winter storm forming for eastern Canada and as well western Canada. Alberta Clipper, two of them, one of them gaining strength over the Hudson Bay. Cold temperatures will be funneling in behind all this, my friends and family. Stay tuned. Overlooking Europe and Africa, high pressure ridge is built in, keeping and scooting most of these systems northward. Now they're impacting Greenland and Iceland. But high pressure ridge is going to be pretty dominant throughout the week, keeping things dry through parts of Central Europe. North and west, it'll be a different story. South Africa, you're going to see some extreme weather this week, and as well, Argentina. With a big low scooting through there. Definitely will be bringing some extreme weather events for the region. And as well parts of South Africa. This is a look at our temperatures for the long range forecast. Minus 2 to minus 5 in parts of northern Alberta. Minus 20 up into the purples. And that is all funneling around my friends. The polar vortex setting up. Stay tuned. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.